Hello, good people. How are we all doing? Um, I'm going to try and smoke uh, my new Savinelli 320, um, which uh, has just arrived. So um, I've just done a brief video on that. Um, and what I've done is I bought a sampler pack um, from Carey's. Carey's Tobacco. Now, unfortunately, I think they don't uh, send their um, tobaccos to the US, but I guess there are probably um, suppliers of tobacco in the US that don't send to Europe and vice versa. But essentially what this is, is a uh, sampler pack. So there are several uh, packets in here of different tobaccos. Um, for me to try out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put my hand in and take one out and try it and give you an impression of the uh, the pipe and the tobacco as well. So let's see what we've got. Because I'm probably going to end up smoking all of these anyway at some point. So uh, this is, I'm going to have to put my glasses on for this. So this is Carey's Old English ready rubbed so let's give it a shot let's see what we think what do you think mooks hmm. it's a really weird thing but the first impression that i get is uh old wet leather boots um Sorry about that, if, if I've upset anyone by making out that their tobacco smells like old wet leather boots, but it does, it reminds me of that. So let's pack this pipe and try it out and see what this tobacco mixture is like. This is just to uh, uh, convince people that I do smoke uh, other tobaccos really. So here we go. In the uh, Carey's catalogue, for those who are in uh, the UK, that's number 2008, Carey's Old English Ready Rubbed. And these are just little um, five gram samplers. Now there was somebody that um, I got some tobacco off recently who did one gram pouches, which is actually quite cool really. Um, you know, before you commit yourself to uh, to buying large amounts of uh, tobacco, especially if you don't have tobacco shops, you don't have anywhere to, to go and actually purchase them, it's a great way to, to try them out and test them out to see if you like them before you, you buy bulk or buy larger, you know, amounts.
quite like that actually. Um, as I say, I do I do smoke other tobaccos. I'm not uh, so limited that I just uh, stick to you know the one the one particular tobacco. It's it's really nice to to try different tobaccos and uh, as I say, sample packs are the perfect way to to test it out and and see what you think. So first impressions of the uh, Sabinetti pipe, um, very good, very good. There we go, it's got a little cake on the top now and it's, uh, I've tamped it down and it's uh, smoking properly. Got a very slight musty sort of smell, I guess, to the uh, to the tobacco. It certainly doesn't taste like old, wet, you know, leather boots. That is a that is a very nice pipe. Um, really, really liking that. Very, very nice. I think as as I use this pipe, the uh, the rustication will probably you know change and the colours will change on it, which uh, I think is just you know part of using a pipe. And um, yeah, I like I like that tobacco. I'm not a very good connoisseur or you know uh, when it comes to uh, finding words to describe it but that is that is very nice There's a very slight sort of hint of uh, woodiness and um, a little bit of a kind of spicy sort of feel to that to that tobacco as well, which is um, is very pleasant. Um, so I probably would smoke more of that, and it's nice to kind of try some uh, different varieties and and different flavors to kind of broaden you know my uh, experience of. Uh, of tobaccos um, you know would, would I buy more of that one yeah I think so you know I think I'd, I'd go for some more of that uh, it's it's a little bit stronger than what I normally smoke uh, I quite like the Virginia's the kind of lighter tobaccos lighter color the the lighter flakes uh, the mellow Virginia's and things like that the Sam Gawith's um, I've yet to try the McClellan's, which uh, somebody actually recommended, so I'd probably uh, give those a, a go as well. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, very pleasant. I can imagine that uh, you know certain tobaccos maybe will have a different flavour or or will have a a different kind of um, smoke to them depending on the pipe as well. I, I would imagine that that is the case, and I'm sure there are people out there who can 
you know, tell me you've got more knowledge than I have who can sort of uh, testify to that if you like. But the pipe itself is, what can I say, that hasn't been said already. Uh, really, really interesting pipe, very interesting shape, uh, very much a kind of pipe that I would gravitate towards if I was looking in a pipe shop and saw this in a cabinet I would I would want to take that out and hold that there's something about it immediately you want to you want to pick that pipe up but I think I mentioned this is this is almost like a gear shift lever if you've ever driven a truck or a like my old Land Rover which had a great big chunky sort of a gear shift lever on it it kind of reminds me of that so it's a uh, it's a, it's a great feeling pipe, very robust, very kind of strong sort of pipe. Um, smokes incredibly well, I have to say. And uh, the old English ready rubbed is is great. There's a, a few bowls in there, maybe not a massive amount, but you know there's a few in there. I've got a few other varieties in that sampler pack to uh, to try out, but. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking uh, this pipe and liking trying different tobaccos. So, this is a great pipe actually, very, very nice. Hmm. It was actually uh, another Savinelli pipe that I particularly wanted to get as my first sort of Savinelli pipe, uh, but I haven't been able to find that anywhere, uh, either new or second hand. Um, so when I manage to get one of those, I will do a review on that. There's a, another pipe that's almost like a combination of the, the pipes that I go for, uh, which caught my eye and I very much would like to try. But this is a this is a great introduction to Savinelli as a as a as a make, and I'm really pleased. And I don't dislike the tobacco, so that's a, another plus. Hmm. So with that in mind, I would say. Take care and uh, I'll leave you all in peace.